In this demonstration, you'll learn how ANSYS Polyflow software can simulate the filling of a mold with an injected liquid material. Presented here are the results of a Polyflow simulation. The yellow area represents an empty mold, which you can see is slowly being filled with a white viscous fluid. Polyflow is using what's called a VOF technique, which stands for Volume of Fluid. This technique allows you to model a moving liquid with one or more free surfaces. Compared to other similar techniques, the VOF model makes it easier for you to set up the simulation and requires less processing time from your computer. Note that this technique is a single fluid approach, that is, it assumes that the effect of a gas phase in the cavity is negligible, and so it's not represented. This particular case is isothermal, though I could have specified that the injected fluid be a different temperature than the walls of the mold. I'm also using a Newtonian fluid here, though Polyflow allows you to run simulations where the fluid is viscoelastic. You can also specify that the viscous behavior of the fluid be temperature dependent. Modeling such complex behavior allows you to see how the filling pattern is affected in areas where there are sudden contractions or expansions. Polyflow allows you to choose from a library of fluids with different material properties, or you can create and save your own fluids. As the simulation concludes, I can verify that the entire mold is filled and discover the time needed for the process to complete. If the results prove to be unsatisfactory, I can rerun the simulation, not only with different fluid materials and temperatures, but also with different injection rates, wall temperatures, and inlet locations. This concludes this demonstration of Polyflow's volume of fluid model for simulating mold filling applications. It's just one of the many ways ANSYS helps you realize your product promise.